video I'm gonna be doing some work of the tank today and then I'm also later on um, gonna be going to one of the LFS's um, picking up some nice corals I did get a couple of new Aikens uh, this one here and the one in the very back right there and then also that one in the back um, picked up a new green money cap with purple rim I got this insane purple one which I don't think the color is going to show up on the camera but that thing is like crazy purple <clears throat> um, I think that's about it um, well, it looks like one of my fungia plates fell where'd it go there it is about to pick that up um, yeah this toadstool is uh, fragging itself like crazy right now you can see there's a uh, piece there, a big piece of the crown that fell off, and then it's still kind of shedding right now, so that's pretty cool, probably sell a couple pieces as they start falling off, um, tank is uh, on the up and up, it's coming up, it's looking a lot better, um, it's amazing what uh, getting rid of the flatworms did, incredible, um, haven't lost any more fish, no more corals, this uh, hammer is recovering, the one that had the little bit of the pollock bale off, uh, it's coming back and looking good. Um, yeah, that's about it. So the work that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to uh, drain the sump. Uh, I'm not focusing, but I'm going to drain the sump and pull it completely out and clean it up. Get that fuge part all taken care of um, and just get the detritus all cleaned out of there. And then I got uh, a new idea that I'm going to do, so I'm going to have some modifications going to the uh, water inlet parts so uh, that'll be something new and then uh, clean the protein skimmer up clean the return pump so just cleaning the sump up today um, so yeah that's where we're at I'll take you guys along with it and then uh, yeah all right yeah, shut the power down to the return pump move all this crap out of the way of the, in the front and uh, start draining the sump, the uh, water I'm going to keep out of the sump, I'm going to drain into my 40-gallon uh, drum here, and then the stuff that's left in the fuge is going to get drained right out the door. This is also going to give me a chance to uh, clean up my wiring and stuff again, because i got stuff kind of all over the place again. So. As you can see, I got the sump out there. I got it pretty much as clean as I'm gonna get it. Um, clean the skimmer as well. Um, looks much better. Um, the fuge had a ton of black water in it underneath the rocks. It was disgusting. I didn't get video of it because I wanted to get the tank outside real fast because it was really smelly. So, um, yeah, the fuge was pretty gross. Um, so, I'm glad I got that cleaned out. Got all the detritus out of all the chambers, and I'm getting ready to uh, do the modification that I wanted to do with this uh, uh, sump. And we'll look under the tank here. Let's see. Voila. Nothing left. I'm going to dry it up. There's a little bit of uh, water that spilled um, while taking the sump out from you know the excess left in the water pipes or the drain pipes. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, get that all cleaned up, get the salt creek cleaned up, and uh, get ready to put the sump back in. But before I do all that, I am heading to the LFS. Oh, yeah. What are you looking at over there? 
So guys, so I got the uh, sump all cleaned up the best I'm going to get it anyways. Um, so we're going to be using this part here now for ATO and using the rest of the sump like it always was. I'm not going to be using that first chamber anymore for a drain down section. I'm just going to dump right into the filter area. And I don't have the stuff to do it today, so that's why it's not done. But I'm going to knock out where the filter socks were and then um, put in like media filter baskets. And I'll make it out of egg crate. Um, put that in there. That way I can do a different, couple different levels of uh, filtration media just because filter socks aren't really working out for me. Um, I just don't have the time to... Uh, keep changing them like every other day it seems like so um, I gotta go with something different but I uh, got it all cleaned up I'm gonna go get the skimmer put that back in there and then we're gonna start filling this thing back up later right, guys so here it is the uh, sump is all cleaned up um, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to use this uh, section over here for this the uh, auto top off right now um, the baffle I put in right there it leaks in one corner like it's such a minute amount but it's enough to uh, make me not want to use it for an auto top off area right now until I can get it sealed but um, I don't really feel like pulling this shit all back out again to seal that and then waiting you know a week for this for the silicone to cure so for right now I'm just gonna use the 10 gallon and then maybe next weekend I'll uh, you know get that area sealed um, but yeah skimmer is nice and clean Sump is nice and clean, no more detritus and nasty stuff. Cleaned out the ATO tank. Um, so yeah, it's just looking really good. Um, I wasn't able to finish my new filter thing yet. I think I already explained why, because I don't <clears throat> um, have the materials to finish it. So yeah, looks good. Um, we're just waiting for the lights to come on right now so I can uh, put the new coral in, which are acclimating up right there. Um, in the middle of me doing the uh, sump, I went to one of the LFS's and got some candy. I got a Fragazoa's, which is something I didn't think I'd ever get again. But these ones are real nice. Um, and then I got three Aikens and then one really gnarly looking mushroom. I'm not really into mushrooms that much unless it's a really nice Recordia or Yuma. But uh, this one, it's a Redactus, and it, uh, it looks really, really nice. So uh, I had to pick it up. So, yep, here it is, guys. Sump is all put back together, nice and clean. And uh, we'll get to, um, you know, finishing it up at another date. But right now, this is all I have time for today and all I really feel like doing today. So uh, we'll see you on the next one, y'all. Later.